everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. So, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but things have changed. So I'm still on vacation. I'm staying at Pop Century, which is the resort that I really enjoy staying at. And I already, last year, did a video on how to do laundry at Pop Century. And last year was my first time ever doing laundry on vacation. And I'm just, I have stuff coming up at the when I get home. So I was like, I don't wanna go back with dirty clothes. I have a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna do my laundry now. I, ha I, I can do it now, it's fine. So I go thinking I knew exactly what I was doing because I did it last year and I left my cell phone in the room charging and it's a new system. There's a new system down there. So I was like, you know what? I came up here to grab my phone. Um, I'll grab my camera too and I'll show you the new system for doing laundry at Pop Century. So I am staying at the 80s section Pop Century and we have these gigantic Rubik's cubes that are our stairwells. I'm gonna go down this and head over by the pool because by the pool is where guest laundry is. So that's where I'm headed. Okay, so the pool's over behind that fence and we're turning here to go around the edges of it. You can see on the side, guess the laundry that away. And you can see that beige building, that is guest laundry. And you can see in relation to the pool, this is guest laundry right here. That's the pool, guess laundry, the pool. It's, it's right, right at the gate to the pool. Okay. So you do need to tap your magic band to get in. So we have vending machines and this is the same as last year. So this is where you get your soap and your fabric softener and that's fine. But last year there was like a thing mounted on the wall where you would like type in a code and you would pay for it and it would like toggle for the machines. Now, QR code and I had left my phone in the room charging so I, I needed to go back to my room to get the phone. So let's figure this all out. Okay, so I tap my credit card and it said card approved. Now I just need, like, tap in a number, and there comes my soap. Okay, so I have acquired my soap. Okay, all of the laundry is in there. We'll just tuck, tuck. Now we have to do the scanny part. So, we'll scanny it. Ooh. Let's see where it brings me. Okay, washer number five, it recognized it. It'll be $3.50. And you can either pay with credit or with Google Pay. Nice and easy. So I guess before I do that, I'll load my soap into the machine, put my card information in, and we'll see where, what screen it goes to. After I put in my card information, it brought me to a screen that says press start. I put the soap in the soap compartment, close that, and press start. We want it to be normal, not warm. So temperature, we want cold, and start. Okay, 28 minutes, washer running. I'm good, I did it, okay. Oh look, and it tells me on the app how much time is left. Perfect. Okay, so while my laundry was washing, took a quick shower, so wet hair, quick change, but good use of time. Uh, the app, the little app or web screen, uh, it says it has four minutes left. So hopefully by the time I walk down there, they'll be ready. Okay, there were people in there, so I wasn't talking while I was filming, but 45 minutes on the dryer, and we'll be good. Okay, my laundry is almost done. Two minutes left. I will say, the app, awesome. It synced perfectly in terms of the timing. So I threw all my laundry into the packing cube. I'm just gonna refold it so it's not all wrinkly. Laundry's done. It wasn't too bad. I really did like that app. It, it worked well, it synced up easily. You didn't know codes to mess with on the wall. Very, very straightforward. I just didn't bring my phone down the first time because I wasn't expecting it. 
but it worked out well. So I hope you found that helpful. And with that, I am done and I'll see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.